Welcome to the channel. We are down here at Home Depot and we are 3D printing some plant pots because it's spring. Now we're printing those on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini and you're probably seeing some B-roll of that right now. But uh, I'm at Home Depot to grab some potting soil and some plants. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. We got flowers, we got prints, and this one you won't uh, see in this video. Uh, there's a brand new printer coming out on Wednesday. That's right, and uh, it's a fast machine. You're gonna wanna see it. And this one won't get planted today. That's for that video. Definitely make sure you're subscribed because you're gonna like that video. Matter of fact, the, the box of that printer is right there, and the printer itself is just outside the studio. Teaser. Okay, Mrs. Ellen picked out these flowers. I think you saw that in the beginning of the video. Primrose and uh, what else? Tulips, daffodils, and some other things here. So we're gonna get these put inside these and I got the potting soil right down there. Let's go over the filament that we used. This is Bamboo Lab Pink Silk. And these three right here, these are Polymaker Silk filaments. This is our Polylite Silk and this is their blue, their red, and their orange. And uh, so combined with uh, the video coming out on Wednesday, you'll see it together with this. It's springtime, this is kind of fun. Some cool retro 3D prints, some plants. What do these things cost? I think these things were like, yeah, like two bucks, two bucks, four bucks, four bucks, four bucks, four bucks, come on. Some 3D prints, these couldn't cost what, a dollar? Buck 50 or something like that to print. Save some money, print some fun retro vintage plant pots yourself, throw some cool plants in it, add some, add some green to the inside of your homes. All right. This entire project is being done on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, which is this machine here, and this is the AMS Lite. This is probably one of the most advanced or technically advanced machines that we have in our industry right now, especially at this price point. The A1 Mini alone is $299. And with the AMS Lite, which is the four spool multicolor system, it's only $449. Now don't let the small size of this machine fool you. At 180 millimeters cubed for the print volume, that's relatively small, around seven or so inches, this machine is quite capable of printing everything that you wanna print. Although Bamboo Lab has marketed this machine for beginners, this machine, like I said, is more than capable and any experienced maker is gonna be able to do some incredible things with it as well. Let me get the plants, the potting soil, and the, the 3D prints, and let's do some spring planting. Let's, let's add some green to the studio. Scoot this over here. Let's move this stuff here, here, here. I guess let's just get rid of that and let's get this pot, pot. Let's get this, let's get this potting soil up here on the bench. I think we barely might have enough considering these already have soil and we're not really gonna use much of this, but we'll use this out on the ranch uh, someplace else. All right, so here we go. Mrs. LM prepared for me this nice little tray, which is kind of convenient. So let's make sure that's in view right there. So let me get a knife, let's stab this bag. All right, so what do you think? We are gonna make a mess in the studio. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this. Mrs. LM, I think she said that she picked me some blue, or blue, red, orange, and pink or yellow. I guess that's orange, that's orange. Um, okay, so this yellow is for this guy. So that's why, but we won't plant that today. Here we go, let's, uh, let's do the pink. Should we do the pink? This is the pink right here, and I think, oh, you know what, Mrs. LM? Let's steal another red one right here, because there's two in here. So let's do that. So we got some extras, all right? Pull these out like this, here we go. And uh, what I wanna do is I actually wanna divide that in half. Kinda crumble this apart here. Try not to make a giant mess. Let's see, can we split these, or is it all together in one? I don't know, Miss LM, it's all coming from the same. You think we can? Or do you think I'll kill it? All depends on where the roots are going. Well, all of the roots are coming out of this one on this side over here. I don't know much about this stuff, but I have a feeling if I split that, it's dead. Nope, we got roots. We got roots in both sides. Look at that. Look at that. Fan freaking tastic. We're gonna mix some soil here, some of its native stuff that it came with inside this ghost. All right, like that, we're gonna save some of that. Now we're gonna scoop up some of this stuff here. We're already making a mess. We're gonna come over here, put a little of this right inside here. All right, what do you think? That like right there? Yeah, right, a little bit more. Take this guy, set you right down inside here. Twist you around, get your roots all nice down in there. 
What do you think, dude? All right. Get the rest of some soil down in here. All right, there we go. Kind of tuck you all in there. Some more soil in here. Yeah, what do you think? Doesn't that look pretty good? I think it looks pretty good. Kind of tuck it all down in there, make sure everything's clean. Look at that. Come on, look at that, isn't that awesome? Cool little ghost. We'll wipe him all down here in a little bit when we're finished. All right, next one. So I think this, because this was the pink, we're actually gonna put this one in the pink. So this one is a pink hyacinth. So let's get some potting soil in there. Get this right down inside there. Can we move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing? How about that? There you go, now you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So now we're gonna mix some of that soil in like right there, that was the original stuff that it was in. Can I get those roots set right there? Let's get some of this miracle Grow potting soil in here. And then we'll get water in it. What do you think? Look at this. Just kind of tuck that in there. Fantastic, look at that. Awesome. So we got a pink ghost. Let's put him right here. Look at that. We've got one, we've got two. Look at that, isn't that cool? So we have red, blue, and orange. Well, that's what we have exactly left. Right here, all right, so get the ghost over here. All right, kind of crush that a little bit. And this is a uh, hyacinth, a blue hyacinth. Yeah, look at that. That almost fits exactly in there. Should we just drop it in there? Oh yeah, look at that. Kind of shove it down, oh, okay, so we're gonna have to add some soil, all right, because it's a, it's a little bit larger. It's a little bit larger in the cavity in there, right? So anyway, let's do it. Stand it up just a bit. Plotting soil in there. Awesome, look at this. This is just cool. So this is really gonna dress up, uh, dress up the studio. Now here's the thing. You're probably wondering why I'm doing this, besides it being springtime. Why did we pick Pac-Man ghosts and Pac-Man for a couple of videos here? Well, you notice the shirt I'm wearing, Commodore 64, you see that? Okay. Well, I have another channel that we're just starting. It's called LM After Hours. And it is all about retro vintage tech and some fun adventures. Like I said, we're gonna build period correct computers like 486, DX250s and DX266s from 1994. Uh, Atari's, Nintendo's, Commodore 64. You see the television? Look at that, look at my overhead camera. My overhead camera right now is on a 27 inch CRT from 2002. Uh, 2002? Yeah, I think it's 2002. Anyway, that, sh that channel is LM After Hours. And so I'll have it on the screen and in the description below. Go give it a subscribe. It's gonna be a fun adventure and we're gonna tie 3D printing into it. You're gonna like it. Red is the next one to do, so let's do it. I think we can split it. What do you think? Think we can? This is a uh, tulip. It's a little dry. That is a little dry, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, so before we do that, I need one more ghost. There we go. So it's a bit dry, let me see if we can, yep, they split, perfect. So now we just wanna make sure that we're gonna get some, some of its soil that it came with in there. Not too much of a shock. Try and separate these roots a little bit, what do you think? Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. I'll stick you in there. I'll put you down inside there. Boom. Just like that. Let's get some soil in here. Get that all nice and planted right in around there. Get you all nice and tucked in some soil. I get you so you're kind of growing straight. What do you think, dude? Like that. All right. Let's get you all down in here. Let's get some of this soil to waste all this stuff. Right, looking good. So this is, like I said, this is a, uh, it's a red, it's a red tulip. And so that was the one, we split these, so now we have two. And so we'll just kind of get this loaded in here so we're not wasting a, a flower here, all right? It'll look really good. This is gonna be cool. I'm glad, this is kind of a really fun project. And uh, these models are on printables, and I'll have a link uh, in the description. You'll be able to head over there and, and grab them and do this yourself. I scaled these up from the original model. These are 150%, and I believe the Pac-Man is 
you'll be able to see it right there. It is kind of cool, size of my hand. All right, the red one sat right there. I'll get this blue one, we'll put you over here. Here we go, orange. And this is a primrose. It's only two bucks. And you are, you are moist. Okay, so that's gonna need some soil in there. The, the cavity on the inside of these is actually uh, larger, quite a bit larger. There we go. Oh, that was beautiful. That was absolutely perfect. That was, that was pretty sweet. It literally dropped right in there. That was actually pretty good. So we'll add a little bit of soil around the back. I can kind of feel that there's some missing. Just because it's going to settle in there, and I don't want it to, to not have a good amount of soil. But look at these. Isn't that awesome? Little Pac-Man ghosts that are flower pots. Look at that. I like it. Now this one we're saving. This one goes in another video. So I'm gonna leave this on the tray, okay? And uh, I think I'm gonna just set this tray out of the way really quick. Let's take a closer look at these. How fun is this? So this blue ghost, pink ghost, red ghost, and an orange ghost. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty sweet? What a fun little project. And like I said, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, which is right there, is more than capable of handling all of the practical prints that you're gonna wanna do around the home and office. And it's a fantastic machine. The machine runs super quiet, which is a, which is a positive. And also, you can run it from your phone. And there's a Bamboo Lab Handy app, and I would grab my phone and show you, but they're dirty. It is a free app. You can send models directly from your phone right to Bamboo Lab machines, making it super easy. Anyone can do it, and you can do it without a computer at home, so think about that. Oh, and I almost forgot, one of my favorite features for this machine, and well, kind of Bamboo machines in general, is the reprint option, right? So most printers have an option to hit reprint. Well, when you're printing models like this over and over, ago, over again, traditionally, years ago, you had to re-slice it for the different color of filament, right? So if you had it sliced for slot one, You'd have to re-slice it for slot two, three, or four, or you'd have to move the filament to different slots. And one feature that I absolutely love on this machine is when you hit reprint, right, you get the option of selecting which spot on the AMS you want to use for that reprint. So one slice for this model on this printer loaded the four colors of filament, and then every time I hit reprint, I just selected a different slot on the AMS and hit print. And that's just... It's a feature now that you're kind of seeing on a lot more 3D printers, but uh, it's really fantastic and really convenient, especially for fun kind of practical prints like this. This is exactly why I love 3D printing, that you get to take something that's like kind of boring every day and make it fun. So 3D printing some pots uh, here that cost a few dollars a piece. We can do them in a really cool kind of retro vintage style, right? Make it fun. A couple of dollars for each of the plants and uh, you have something pretty unique and, and pretty fun. And uh, I wanna thank Bamboo Lab for sponsoring this video. Thank you for sending us over the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini for free. We got that actually like, shoot, is it coming up on a year? I think in a couple months that Bamboo Lab A1 Mini will be out or will have been out a year. But anyway, check it out. I'll have a link uh, on the screen and in the description below. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget, Wednesday, new video coming. Printer with this, it's gonna be fun, it's fast. You're gonna like it, so make sure you're subscribed. All right, thanks.